Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the first round of the Speed Caps Invitational, hosted on Professional Risk Takers. And we are playing a five-player group, not the intended six. Uh, let's see. We are first to act. Which bonus can we claim? I'll get over the rest of the rules in a second here. I just gotta figure out where the heck I wanna cap. Uh, the Valhalla plus six looks like a good multi-turn option. So yeah, I think we'll go in here. We'll look to get that over multiple turns. These aren't going to be too long games. Cause game one is going to be Way to Valhalla, Progressive Caps. And the rules in this tournament, uh, the game is going to end after 12 rounds. So the start of the round 13, the game ends. Anybody that's alive, um, the placement tiebreaker is going to be uh, whoever owns the most caps. And if there's a tie in that, so let's say we all own our first cap, our initial cap, then the tiebreaker goes to the players higher in the turn order. So this incentivizes players lower in the turn order to be more aggressive and players higher in the turn order to be a bit more defensive. So since we're first in the turn order, ideally we want to see everybody um, only have one cap each. But with everybody having so many territories, I'm not sure how aggressive this game is going to end up being. But while people are thinking of the cast players in the round one group, we got ourselves. And we got Horace Boy, Master, Nathaniel, Grandmaster, uh, XC Dude, Master Tackling Grandmaster, and Apes Flying Poo, quote unquote expert. So Nathaniel caps on a four. That has potential to be <laughs> wiped away by Horus, if he decides to get really risky. Carter caps up there. And I'm assuming Apes caps on the left here, since I capped on the five. Yeah. Are there alliances? There's no alliances. Okay. We'll start with this bonus take, since I don't see that being used yet. Not the greatest dice, but it should be okay. We'll make our cap a 7. I'll throw this out. <laughs> Horus is going to take plus four above me. These are the bonuses on the map. Lots of threes, fours, and fives around, with a plus six of Valhalla in the middle. Someone was upset that that got taken. I think that was Apes. He has the plus five bonus he could still go for, assuming Carter moves the three out. Can hit my one fortify up to that spot up there. I 
Nathaniel does have a five cap. Just going for that bonus take turn one. That is a plus four. Does get it. Is going to get the three on one off successfully. So his cap is a six. move out we'll single to the board that eventually i will just want the plus six and then someone probably horse can take my plus three i'm doing this without alliances on so that could be a potential problem all going to be generating a bunch here early. But as long as I can keep my cap strong, I can hopefully ensure either a first place placement points or a uh, Daniel's yeah. going down there, okay. He's in a bunch of territory. He's risking the three on two. <laughs> Hell yeah, Nathaniel. Amazing. Oh, does Carter yoink the cap? Nathaniel did leave his cap pretty weak. Ah, goes against it. Damn it. He's going for another big bonus of his own. Plus two plus fours. Hopefully apes can move his threes out or burn them. Ah, uh, 
awesome. Exterior over there. We'll repay the favor for apes over there. And we'll look to keep our cap strong. Now, personally, I'm fine with Horus breaking this secondary bonus. But if he's taking a secondary, that'd be plus seven for him. And everybody will be getting... Plus seven, eight, or nine, it looks like. And a, a good neighbor game early in the turn order is, I'd say, pretty ideal. So Nathaniel better buff up his <laughs> his cap this turn. Or Carter, who was hovering it before, was def would definitely be thinking about taking it now. So I think these three remaining apes is going to take that second bonus on the right. And then everything remaining will be the card trading zones for a bit. Does hit apes out of there. <clears throat> Alright, so bounties are worth five points each if they actually end up happening. Our exterior stack at ten. And we'll keep our stack here, and ideally, we'll trade cards in the gull territory and fortify back to the eyes. <coughs>
so this position on this board as player one in the turn order seems pretty ideal for me what's he doing What are you doing over there, Nathaniel? <laughs> Matching there doesn't really make sense since I have my cap to retaliate if he does break. So instead of adding up there, I can just keep my cap strong and then my west side exterior decently strong. Don't want to commit too, too much to the exterior because by the time round 12 comes around, we're going to be wanting as many troops on the capital as possible. Now it would be beneficial for me to card skip and keep the trades as low as possible, but knowing these players, I think my bonus gets broken if I do. Just because the lower in the the people lower in the turn order don't want that to happen, so they'd retaliate against me for doing that. So instead we'll keep it going. And even though there are no alliances, we have all played a decent amount of tournament matches together. How are cards doing? We got four cannon cards. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Then another advantage of my position is that my cap is fairly far away compared to other people's caps and where their position and where their armies are pointed at, which also sets me up nicely for the last few turns.
Hmm, horse sits there with a 15, okay. Signal to Nathaniel to hit one of my ones. I'm not sure what emote conveys that without the Alliance chat. Thankfully, he got the message. Alright, so we are on round six. 26 stack. Ooh. Completely wipes out apes on that side. That's a decent move. Apes will retaliate and break that bonus up there, but Carter maintains his two plus fours. So that's a pretty solid move, especially with Horus's 15 being in the way of coming back over. It looks like Apes is just going to go through... No, he's not. He's going to ask Horus to move away. He didn't, wow, he didn't retaliate on Carter up there. Carter's going to hold three. Do we allow him to hold three? We do have 15 trade. Uh, let's see. Leave him the extra territory, but that is a balancing move there. Because while I am I am generating plus nine to his plus eight now, but he is the extra territory that he has more than makes up for the troop difference. So with apes not retaliating, he's gonna be the weaker one here. But his cap is still pretty, pretty big. Ah, Nathaniel wants that. So that'd be 11. 7 for Nathaniel. And then Carter wants... And then that needs to be broken. Okay. Still isn't breaking Carter's other bonus, interestingly enough.
so we are on round eight. Got to keep the round counter in mind. Move that active. I'm at the point where the extra plus three bonus doesn't matter too, too much. So it's round nine. We do have the set on three. hits that and gives Nathaniel and I a card so Nathaniel needs to give Carter a card up north there because otherwise his cheaper card is to break Nathaniel on the east <laughs> Does indeed do so. Okay, Carter retaliates against Horus. Apes retaliates from the earlier stuff. I think we keep everything peaceful. This is round 10. Round 11 will be going to 5, and round 12 I'll be trading in.
11. of round 11. One more round until the game ends. Yeah. We'll quickly card skip. <laughs> this gives... This gives less time for my opponents to think. And then, why well, by staying on two cards, if people try to coordinate for my bounty kill for whatever reason, it won't set them in. Meaning, it decentivizes green and black trying for my bounty. Horus is going to bunker down and hope for second emplacement here. So now Apes is going to have to go for a cap here, since there's no risk to him not doing so. And his best option is going to be Carter's cap, unless he does fortify that 40 stack onto it. Doing some smacking. Oh. 
Yep, so Apes' best shot is to go for the 145 cap. Do we see God Dice? The game is ending either way, so we may as well try it. I don't know what the odds are. Oh, ends the game. Alright. That's it. So we just go top to bottom placement, which going first is beneficial. <laughs> so I think I ended with 15 points. Everybody else says like 10, 8, 6, 4. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so guess we will be just need to double check here. I think we'll be moving on to game number 2 in a little bit. Alrighty, game number 2. Same prog cap settings this time on reverse world. And let's see the all important turn order. We go second. And Carter is now orange instead of black. Where are we going? I think we gotta go in the center. Yeah, the center's probably good. I kind of like this this cap down here because we have play. Assuming we aren't allowed to hold the plus seven, we're probably gonna go for lower Atlantica as our bonus. And then I need to get out of Apes's way at the top. So taking second in placement points. is probably ideal if we all go good neighbor again, but I also gotta watch out for Carter and Nathaniel trying stuff here now. Okay, Horace goes there. solid cap and distribution there for Carter. goes in India. All right. Ooh. Rough dice for apes. Because Apes went for that other bonus, I don't have to uh, 
do stuff there. So now apes can make that a four and leave through India. So I think Nathaniel be wiser to let Nathaniel hold a plus five instead of a plus seven. Horse adds up north. Interesting. Ah, escaping through there. I see, I see. rid of his twos, takes the bonus. Wow. <laughs> really good dice from Nathaniel there. Okay. Still no alliances. <laughs> Secretly hoping that to be one one, but alas, it did not. Yeah, we'll just go down this line. to cap.
Okay, Carter takes a second bonus, plus nine. Daniel does get to hold the plus seven. <laughs> we rewarded his ballsy dice. that over there. Okay, Curse saying he's fine with Horus taking that. Doesn't risk the 5v2. Carter gets 11. St. Abe's to try and take that second bonus up there.
doesn't take that. All right, I anticipated apes hitting my four, and if he did, I would have taken the plus seven, got rid of this three, and then saying they can break there. Do I still do that? Or do I let that play out up there? Okay, let that play out up there for a turn. He doesn't take it. All right. Thank you.
Carter is not a fan of this. go. Apes finally takes that bonus. And the purpose of putting a 2 down there was to signal to Carter and the rest of the board, because Fog is off, that they can break my plus 4 for the bonus. Or plus 4 for card trade, and then I take the plus 7. And the plus 7 made, is the same as Apes' plus 7, slightly low, same as Nathaniel's plus 7. Just above Horse's 6, and then just below Carter's 9. <laughs> and that'll be the card trading zone. Uh, we are on round seven right now. Not entirely sure what the four attacks were for. Maybe just to knock me under 15. <clears throat> Not quite the 69 cap.
that. Nathaniel wants 15. <laughs> 15 territories. two on that exterior. Nice. Briggs Nathaniel. Ooh, we have no trade on four. So we won't have a trade until the the final uh, turn here. <coughs> Which could be dangerous, depending on what happens. <laughs> Apes trades early. That could be disastrous for me.
and horse boy gets nervous and sets early too Looks like Carter doesn't have a set. I think if Carter had a set, he'd, he'd be trying to feed me to Nathaniel, probably. But luckily for me, he doesn't have a trade. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Moves off cap. I'd be getting I trade the 50 182 it's actually not even that high for the bounty you know what I'm curious to see how this plays out Because from this move, I think I'm getting either second or third in placement. So now Carter, I think he goes for the bounty and the second cap hit. Here he goes. Or maybe just the second cap hit. No, it goes for the bounty. And then he'll take the second cap here off the trade, and that'll be the win for Carter. This gives Carter the win, assuming this cap roll works, which I'm pretty sure it's 100% in Balance Blitz. <laughs> My goodness, they... <laughs> that was a really bad roll. But alright, so we get, I'm assuming third, because myself, Apes and Horus, Ty... And then Apes is the highest in turn order. So I think it's another 10 points overall. So I'm not bad for not really doing anything. <laughs> so I think that was a 25 point finish, which overall is okay. Uh, this 
probably qualifies us to the quarterfinals of this tournament. I'm not entirely sure how the standings look at the moment. But yeah, probably one of the more boring rounds of this Speed Cabs Invitational, but we'll see the maps next week are going to be a lot more, have a lot more imbalanced bonuses. So we will see how that plays out. But yeah, uh, this round next week, depending on the scheduling and other tournaments still to come, of course. Uh, GG's once again to all of our opponents. And until next time, everybody, take care and cheers for stopping by.